as this evolves for you guys, you also then be able to create, you leverage kind of that rich audience data that you have to customize that that communications um, to you know your who you know. And now that you've got those customers stitched together, kind of um, how you would tailor that message. Yeah, absolutely. Because one of the one of the the struggles you have with people who purchase tickets is so we're going through a game, I buy four tickets, right? And then through whatever app, I can just send you your ticket. I don't even have to physically even give you a ticket anymore. So I get Francis's data. And I know Francis went through a game. But I don't know that Aiden went to the game. I don't know that Divya went to a game. I don't know that Brian went to the game. In fact, they all went together. But now I do know that. I know that because we recognize you when you went in the stadium. We recognize you when you're in the stadium. You either did one or two things. You either downloaded the app and register to tell us your favorite team or who you'd be interested in tickets for. And we can stitch that together. Or if you wanted to win the ball, you had to register again. Or if you wanted to play the the quiz game, again, you had to register, right? So we we closed the gap on what I call the one in four syndrome. One person buys four tickets, you only get one set of you know PII. Um, so we close the gap on that. And you are you get an understanding of your really rich, rich hardcore fan. Um, and usually they kind of follow the same pattern. They have registered, they've given their favorite team. Uh, so it's interesting, and that does help you when you, like we were exploring whether we should do a loyalty program, right? And the people say, well, how do you know you have a loyalty program? Like, because we know there is hardcore people out there that have interacted with us and are willing to be part of a loyalty program for these games, right? 